Hey guys, it's Avery here with the Jiu Jitsu Times. I'm here with Michelle Nicolini, who just gave an amazing seminar at South Coast BJJ in South Australia. So, Michelle, you touched on how Jiu Jitsu has helped your confidence as you've progressed through the levels. How do you think you have changed as a person from when you first started to when you got your black belt to the point where you are now? Uh, it changes in the whole, uh, like everything in my life. I think Jiu Jitsu, not only my life, but changes every, everybody's life. Get, uh, you start to get addicted to that, right? So when you, uh, when you start training, uh, when I started training, I was very shy, very like skinny, go, you know. And then as much as I was like a train and everything, you know, I think you know the power you have. So uh, power, not superwoman or something, but you know, uh, you know what you're doing, you know. Uh, where you wanna go, you, how you wanna talk or with people better, you know, and like in, the, in all different ways. Like today in day, I feel like if I go everywhere I go, I take my gi and I feel like confident to step in the mat on the mat with someone that I don't, I never saw before. So I think for for those for kids, like it's just like it also make you forget about the problems you have outside. Like, when you do jujitsu, you step in a mat, then you just think about that. I don't want to be beaten, beat up on the mat. You know? So your concentration, everything is on there. Uh, yeah, I think uh, all together. So it has like helping a lot of people with that. Yeah. So Michelle, you touched a lot on techniques in the seminar that can help smaller people, such as ourselves, even against larger opponents, especially um, with sweeps. So what are some concepts that smaller grapplers can keep in mind when they're going against a larger opponent and need to sweep them? Maybe they think, oh, I'm too small, I can't do this. What are some like jiu-jitsu concepts they should have in mind? I think uh, uh, force is like you don't try to move someone that's stronger than you, for example, because it's not going to happen. Sometimes you are lucky that you have a sweep against someone big, but maybe you didn't expect. But most of the techniques I try to not push all the time, because the yeah, upper body, you know, you don't have the same power than the guys. But I try to move more my legs, work a lot with the hooks. And I move myself much more than I try to move my opponents. Mm -hmm. So I start to play with balance when I have the hooks. Uh, so then they start, like I give, like uh, if I, it's like if I just, uh, I destroy my, the balance, you know. So I move the legs and then they gonna play. So I try to all the time, like, uh, play with their balance. This way is easier for a small person to get sweet and big. Um, so we obviously were lucky enough to have a lot of men at this seminar. Um, I know that's not always the case when you have, you know, even a female multiple time world champion such as yourself. And why would you recommend that other male grapplers attend seminars by female grapplers, even if they're not built like they are? Yeah, I think if you wanna have like, uh, of course the guys they're very technical as well. There's a bunch of good, good black belts, of course. But uh, for for them, for me, I came and the show things that nobody has shown me before. I have to not that I create the technique. Of course, I saw it from someone, and, uh, and then I build my game. But probably the details, like uh, I I felt on myself, you know, because I'm small. So I uh, keep like thinking like if the techniques that I do to the works for a small person like myself, why it would not work for a big person? It's strong, you know. So I always like uh, I I like to learn from everybody, but uh, when you have like someone small, like uh, you know, sometimes you connect better in the game. Like ah, uh, that guy when I was begin. I want to do spider work. So my coach back in the day, like Robert Dryden, he said, ah, you should watch Romulo Bar Bahau. He has a very good uh, spider work. So I said, well, so I have a lot of uh, like my grips and a lot of things I learned from him yeah. just by watching. So, and uh, what I like most like in this is because uh, you, I give you the ideas. 
and then people can you know build in the game and they want to play. And nothing is wrong except like the legal techniques. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong in Buddhism. You just play the way that it feels better for you. That's great advice. Yeah. So Michelle has obviously now made the transition to MMA. She just had an amazing, amazing win against Angela Lee, which was a huge deal. Um, can you tell us anything about your future in the sport, where you would like to see yourself? Yeah, of course I wanna, I, I just finished this fight like uh, now, two, three weeks ago. Still, I still don't have any plans for uh, next fight. But I'm hoping I have another fight uh, until the end of this year. But nothing confirmed yet. I know um, I wanna I wanna fight for the belt. Mm -hmm. So sooner or later they have to give me the title shot. Yeah. I'm excited to sign I sign up the contract. I always dream with the belt in my division. Extra weight. And I think step by step I'll get there, you know. I'm getting better. I just feel like every time more confident with my my MMA game plan. Mm -hmm. you know, my wonderful team in Brazil has helped me a lot with that. And I feel like it's better than ever. So no big plans yet because I don't know when I fight again. But <laughs> like, I can keep watching and uh, soon I post my like, video. Yeah, I'm excited for next. Yeah, we're excited too. <laughs> um, when are your next seminars? When can people learn from you? I had him uh, to Sydney tomorrow, uh -huh. and then I'll be there the whole week until next Saturday. So every night I have a uh, class or seminar in some different places in Sydney. Uh, I forgot all the places. <laughs> <laughs> the <Yeah>. schedule. <laughs> uh, the schedule. What? <laughs> but I have everything on my. I will be posting then the, for the next week. I post like every day the place I'll be. Yeah, awesome. Well, guys, again, can personally recommend Michelle. Um, if you have, we're coming for a seminar in your area, please, please, please go. Um, we had people from all over the place coming in tonight. We learned a lot. We had a blast. And thank you so, so much for the seminar and for chatting. Can thank I do you. what you do next? Yes.